Hi, welcome to a Roots to Fruit instructional video on how to graft or the principles of grafting. So grafting is sometimes called a form of vegetative propagation or cloning. Strictly to speaking, in the horticultural world, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've made a brand new plant. What it means is that you might have put two species or two genuses together and made um, them simultaneously two of the same species or two of the same genus at the same time. So you're not necessarily making new plants from it, but you are making a newly named plant. And what you're doing is changing the characteristics of that plant for the better. And some of the reasons why you might graft might be to improve the fruit, particularly in fruit tree grafting, uh, to make a new and different and interesting variety. So you might want to say, for example, take a buddleia that's got orange flowers and then also put one that's got white flowers on so it creates longer amount of interest. And also you might want to put it on a dwarf rootstock so you've got to pick the fruit higher it's down low, or you might want to take the characteristics from two different types of plants and merge them together to get the best of both worlds. So that's where you're looking at basically taking uh, a disease resistant, vigorous plant like a crab tree, crab apple tree, which is like the normal crab tree, but you want to slow that vigor down and put a better fruit than what you would get on crab trees and put a more uh, sort of cultivated version on it, like a sweeter, bigger, better apple and get the best of both worlds. So those are the reasons for doing grafting now i've got here a grafting this is we're going to graft a willow rootstock we're going to graft a different type of willow one so this is an ordinary orange stemmed one and i want to put uh, a willow tree graft uh, a slightly different color stems on um and what what there's two types of graft this one's called a whip and tongue graft so this is what you see in a lot of propagation when you're making new plants when you talk about vegetative propagation it's done when the plant is at a whip stage and that is like when it's about a pencil thickness and if you swish it in the air it makes a whippy noise it's a whip stage this is the root stock so this was a hardwood cutting we took about three years ago and it's created three different uh, branches here uh, and we can graft different types of things on there so this is called a whip and tongue graft so basically I've cut a, like a, a wedge like that, like at an angle. And what I've done is I've made a slight incision in there and I've done the same on here. And the most important thing with grafting is it's the same size and it's the same type. Now, if I took a willow or an apple tree and tried to put it on a willow tree, that is a big no-no. It would not be successful. The next thing that makes it successful is that we have to make the cambium layers uh, fuse together. The cambium layer is this green layer of growth where all the sap and the xylem and the phloem comes through. And what it does um, is that's the living layer of the tree. And I am trying to make these two living layers blend together so that they, uh, they, they, they touch each other. And for at least seven days, they then start to fuse together and you get a join where they're kind of like stuck or fused together. And because they've got this tongue here, this will help them. And the tongue there, this will help them join together. So they slot inside each other like that and they're on nice and tight. And you can see that so that's how that works I've got another one here you'll be able to see it see it from another angle there. so now that's in there like that and of course at the moment these are uh, a little bit unstable uh, they're gonna fall off and also you that was done with a knife this is done with a special tool that cuts out, and this is called saddle graft. And basically what you can see, what we want is the pressure of gravity to push down like we've done there. So basically this one here, it's done with a special tool so that they join together. And you can see it's gone on there like that. And hopefully you can see that it's got that join that is right there. So those are all the sort of different graphs that we've, we, we, we have placed on here. Um, so we can see them all, 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 all together there. And the next job that has to be done is that that union has to be protected from diseases and pests because it's like a cut. You know, you can always get sort of things that go into your cut. So what you have to do is to seal it off. And how that used to be done, it used to be an elastic band and then some hot wax put on and then it totally and utterly seals it. But technology has moved on uh, and we've moved on to using something like um, this here, which is like a, a cling. This is like what florists use as a cling film. And basically what you're looking at doing is really, really protecting that join by wrapping it and wrapping it around so that it, it basically it can't um, sort of come apart and it ties it strongly together. 
and so it's getting plenty of, 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 of this tape around um, and it, you can keep going you can keep going and you can keep going so that it's totally and utterly sealed so obviously it's like cling film which seals things and keeps things fresh and what we have then is that this is the rootstock here and this is called the skion that goes on the top or something it's just called a, a, a scion yeah so we've got to make sure that that stays on really really carefully so you can see without it they just come off and um, basically um, sticking that down properly making sure it's on there nice and tight and then putting it somewhere safe where it isn't windy and what I would do as well is get some wax or some rubber compound and paint that around it and then that would really seal it in <coughs> so that's uh, that's how basically grafting is done particularly on uh, whips uh, and in the in and in the process of propagation I've got another plant here which is again it's not willow it's a buddleia so if I took the buddleia and put it you know took this buddleia and put and stuck it onto that one over there um, they wouldn't take because they've got to both be of the same family and buddleia and willow are not in the same family so what you're always looking at doing is lining up the same thing and this is the rootstock here again it was another cutting we took about a couple of years ago hardwood cutting it rooted this one's the orange globosa and then this one's an, a white so what we're doing is these will have branches that will come out but on the top what i wanted to do is i wanted to have white flowers so that you've got like a tree that has two types of flowers and as you can see here i've done it as a sort of a wedge you can see that and in this one i've, I've made a cut so that those two wedge that wedge and this incision they go inside each other and they're nice and tight around each other so they go down they're the same thickness as each other the same round so when you feel it, it's the same roundness and those two cambium layers now as you can see are in contact with each other which means that they're going to take they're going to fuse together and over the next few weeks basically what happens is they just start to um, take uh, start to fuse together so there's two types of uh, green cambium growth there's what's called xylems and phloems and that's what moves uh, they're like uh, the, the, the fibers that are within the tree they're the ones that make the annual rings on a tree up and basically what they do is um, they um, move things like sap and water and nutrients around the tree um, so that the tree can stay alive and can take photosynthesize in an effective way so I've got that there tied off like that made a loop on the other side there I'm going to pull it through so it's quite tough this stuff a bit fiddly make the loop bring the end through and pull it round and hopefully that's it it'll make it nice and tight and then what you can look at doing is adding uh, something like this which is like a rubber compound this is slightly better than hot wax which was traditionally done remember grafting has been done for years and years and years so you can see it's like a, a rubber max so what it is is inside that container it is a, uh, a rubber uh, sort of compound which uh, is this one this the product that we're using here is called meadow and basically what it does is um, it turns into it turns into a solid and it becomes um, a rubber when it's in contact with the air. So you can see it there like that. And so what you're doing is where the cellophane or this tape meets the stem, and just rubbing that round so that it just seals it off very very nicely and protects it. So we do the whole thing with this rubber compound protect it all the way around, smear it on, get plenty of it onto there and then that will then complete this and make this into a really sealed off protected wound that hopefully over time it gets a chance to um, basically uh, fuse together and create a joint. That joint will always be weak so it won't be perfect, like, you know when you've broken your arm whatever like that it's always a weak spot. But hopefully those two will fuse together, keep it watered, keep it sheltered, um, and then you'll have a plant that has two different, or simultaneously has two different species on there at the same time. 
So you're not necessarily making a brand new plant, but you are making a new plant that you can give a different name to. And you could give, if this has not been done before, you could give your very own name to it and it would almost like become like a royalty that you have given, that you can gain from it. So that's basically what grafting is all about. The most important thing is, is it's about get, doing it so that you get the uh, best um, characteristics, that you blend a couple of characteristics together to make it a better plant. You can do um, different types of grafts, but the main thing is that they have to be the same type that you graft together, and it has to have the same type of cut. So if you're doing a saddle graft, it's got to be a saddle cut on the rootstock and a saddle cut on the skion. Remember the skion's a bit that you're adding to the rootstock, the rootstock's already there. Um, and you also make sure that, that that union, that join, goes together really well, that they fuse together, and that they then seal and protect that join. And then hopefully over the next seven days, few weeks, they fuse together and they become one, um, and um, it's, the plant is then ready to either be sold or planted somewhere else. Hopefully what we're gonna show you now is how to just to do a couple of different types of cuts.